The battlefield for the Christian is the mind. We oftentimes don't struggle, watch this, with environments. We struggle with on, what's on our mind in the environment we're in. <laughs> James says when we are tempted, we are drawn up by our own evil lusts and desires. So it's seldom the crowd we're around, but it's oftentimes the thought in our, I guess I'm by myself this morning. Scripture tells us that we should bring any thought that's not like God under the subjection and power of the Holy Spirit. Now that sounds good in church. <laughs> that, that sounds good. That's great Christian rhetoric. But how do you actually go through the stage, the process, that when something is on your mind, it's an unwanted thought? What do we do and how do we employ the power of the Holy Spirit to stop that unwanted thought in its tracks so that we don't get distracted? One thing, my friends, I want to argue today, and if it's the only thing I can't argue, is this, is that in order to stop unwanted thoughts, don't get mad at me, I have to say it. We've got to be honest with ourselves. Now, it sounds simple, but watch this. If we cannot be honest with ourselves, the unwanted thought has a playground because we're ignoring our own attractions. Now, I know you can't say amen, but I'll say it for you. See, some of you got saved, and you love the Lord, and you've been saved 30 years, 40 years. Some of you saved a couple months. Some of you are new to church. Some have different faith journeys. Watch this. It doesn't matter where you are on your faith journey. The devil always has something to throw at you to make you think about something you don't want to think about. Amen, church. So to manage this, these unwanted thoughts, we've got to have a detox regimen. I'm almost where I want to be. So we've got to be like Romans 12 and 2 says. Be not conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. 